Hi guys, welcome. I hope everyone is well. Today I have a really big brat doll haul. I have had some insane luck on eBay recently and I don't know why but the doll gods have been there for me. So yeah, basically I have quite a few dolls to share with you here and if you want to see who I got recently and added to my collection then please stick around and I will dive in. I am going to start with these Bratz Big Kids Music Stars dolls that I bought from J Doll. UK here on YouTube. She does also have an Instagram and I will link her down below because she is amazing. I love her content. But anyway, basically she was selling these on eBay and I saw them and I was like, oh, I need those. I messaged her and said would she sell them separately because I believe the original listing for these was around £60 if I am not mistaken. And at the time I couldn't afford that. So I said to Jay, would she sell them separately? You know, all that kind of stuff. Turns out I bought them all for £45 which I thought was amazing. Jay did me a really great deal and I got the whole collection. I love them. I have wanted these for ages. As you can see I got, whoa, come on girl, we have Yasmin, we have Chloe, Sasha and Jade. They are all wearing their full original outfits, except Chloe is missing her jacket, but they all have their earrings. They are just so beautiful. Here we have a look at Yasmin. We have Chloe, Jade, and of course, Sasha. I do have another Sasha in my collection, but I didn't want to like split them up and just buy three. And this one is more complete than mine. So I didn't mind paying in a little bit extra for another Sasha. Also with those, I got this bag of pets. These go to the Bratz Big Babies and we have Chloe's pig, Jade's cat, Yasmin's frog, Sasha's bunny, also one of the Bath Time Blitz ducks. I did also get a little note from Jay. It says, hi Az, so happy the girls are coming to such a great home. I know you will love them. I also included a duck that I think might go to one of the bubble blowing Bath Time dolls love Jay smiley face. Again, thank you Jay for doing me such a great deal. I love them. The next doll I have to share with you is the Bratz Passion for Fashion Artist Jade and I got her from eBay brand new in box for £20 and I did film a Bratz doll unboxing and review on her but basically the footage was quite bad. The lighting was off. I seemed a bit off because I felt quite ill and basically I did not want to upload it so I trashed it and and here we are, she is going to be in a haul instead. This is a close up look at her face. Obviously she is wearing her full original outfit as you would expect considering she was brand new in box. Now her hair did not look like this. It was a big fluffy bushy mess and I did of course straighten it as you can see. It looks and feels 10 times better. So yeah, that is Jade. She came with a palette with red paint, blue paint and green green paint and then a little red paint brush. Before we go any further on with the haul, my dog is barking. No thank you. <laughs> um, before we go on any further, I want to mention that this video is filled with holy grail dolls that I have wanted for a long time and have been lucky enough to find on eBay. So the next doll, drum roll please, is the Bratz Hollywood style Katia. Now this doll to me is perfection. I have wanted her since I saw her online. She is drop dead gorgeous. I mean look at her. That face is so pretty. Her makeup is on point. The outfit is adorable. Well it's more glam than adorable but you know what I'm saying. She is just perfect. She came with her earrings, her necklace, her dress and her shoes and her bracelet. The only thing she did not come with is her gloves and her card and her brush. But Honestly, I don't care. Everything is here on her except her gloves. And maybe she came with a handbag that I don't have. I'm not too sure, but anyway. Oh, she's so beautiful. So this is Hollywood style Katia for £26. Bargain, in my personal opinion. Right, so we have another amazing doll. This is the Brat Sweet Dreams Pajama Party Walmart exclusive Sasha doll. And wow, I cannot even believe I am saying that on camera. This doll is so pretty. I mean, a Sasha with bright blue eyes 
eyes. Yes, please. She is perfect. I love her lip shade. The open mouth screening is perfect on her. I believe I paid around eight pounds, which was a bargain. I had to bid. You know I bidded. Bidded? Mm, whatever. <laughs> anyway, she is wearing a Bratz Forever Diamonds Sheridan top and a Bratz Girls Really Rock skirt from Jade. I don't care if she does not have her original outfit. And I I'm just happy to have her. The next doll I have to share with you is the Bratz Metallic Madness from 2015 two-pack Yasmin, who should come with a Sasha doll, who I don't have, sadly, but I really want her. So if anyone is in the UK and sees her on eBay for an affordable price, then please hit me up on eBay. I meant to say Instagram. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hit me up on eBay. I don't think so and let me know because I'll buy her anyway but for now I do have this lovely lady Yasmin is beautiful I love the purple lips I think it is a really unique shade and I adore it this human bobble has got to go sadly she came without her earrings or her headpiece or her accessories or Sasha but for eight pounds I thought she was a bargain and in the UK I have had a hard time trying to find this Yasmin and the Sasha so yeah, I'm sorry, but it's got to be illegal to be this warm. What is going on? On the one day I film, the sun is beaming. Me lights are gleaming. The way they shine, you know, I'm feeling it. So next up, I have a bundle of four dolls to share with you that I won on a bid on eBay for around £16. And really, I only wanted one doll in particular. You know, if you are a fellow collector, this is a real struggle after you have been collecting for a while. To buy bundles becomes quite frustrating because you'll see like 10 dolls you have and then one you don't but really want so you buy the entire bundle and are left with doubles quadruples you name it even though I don't mind really like I love a good double but that is a struggle anyway so the one doll I wanted is in her full original outfit and I am so happy with her I am going to show you the three that I am less excited about but still love we have style it Dana we have have Beach Party Sasha and we have First Edition Yasmin. They are all wearing like mixed matched outfits. That is those. Then the doll I wanted was Brat Sweet Dreams Pajama Party Sienna. Sienna? Sienna. Yeah, anyway, this girl. Oh my god. Now, if you collect brats, you know this doll is quite sought after. A lot of collectors want her and pay a good price for her and I think my price was really good because I've seen her go for like 50, 60 and up. So 16 pounds for four dolls with her included is amazing. She has her earrings, her belt, her shoes, her outfit. She is in really good condition. Once her hair has been worked on, she's gonna look fabulous. I could not be any happier to add her to my collection. Next I have the Bratz Babies Boys, the movie Harvey. He is so adorable. He's such a cutie and I am so happy to add him into my collection. I mean, look at his little face. It's so cute and so sweet. He is wearing his full original outfit. He came with a bottle. I believe I paid around like seven pounds for him, which I thought was pretty good because he's in really good condition. His flocking is in good condition. His hair is like, he's got his outfit, so I can't complain. And this is Harvey. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. So the next one I only got today in the mail and I was unsure that she was going to be here on time for me filming this haul but luckily she arrived this morning and wow 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 I am speechless I got this doll for around seven to eight pounds that's a pretty good price at the moment anyway this is ready for it the Bratz Shrek Yasmin and oh my god I have needed wanted been looking for her for ages I know I say that a lot I say it about every doll but oh my god guys Honestly, I am speechless. Well, I'm not because I can't shut up, but look at her, guys. Wow. I love her even more in person. I know she came without her outfit, but I don't care, guys, for that price. She is in really good condition, of course. She needs a clean up, but that face is beautiful. Just wow. Okay, so the other week I went to a car boot sale, which I don't do a lot because around where I live, they don't happen a lot. And this one is kind of like a once a month 
thing. So I thought, you know what? I'll go. So I did, and I'm looking around. You know what I was looking for. Rats, of course. Anyway, so there is not a doll in sight. There is tumbleweeds going past. I thought, what's going on? Because when I was a kid and I went to a car boot sale, there was dolls over here, dolls over there, dolls over there. You know what I mean? Like, it was doll heaven. But now, there was not a one in sight. So I thought, weird, and like, really let down. Anyway, I see some dolls, so I run over. They were all boy dolls, so I was like, <laughs> but there was no Bratz boys, and uh, anyway, so I look in and see this doll that I had when I was a kid, and I just felt so nostalgic and really emotional. Not emotional, like, you know what I mean, but like emotional in a way of like, oh my god, that's my childhood. So I grab him out, I got him for a pound. This is the Night on the Town Mycene Sutton. I had him when I was a kid. He came with a Madison. I got them for Christmas. If you watched my Bratz Memories video, I will link it down below. You would have seen him. He was the boyfriend to every single Bratz doll I had when I was little. So he had a lot of girlfriends. What can I say? I was a player. But I just saw him and I thought, you know what? I always said if I saw him, I would get him because I have had other Mycene dolls in the past and I ended up like trading them with J Dolls UK, but him I needed. So he came with these jeans and these shoes, which helped me identify him because these are the shoes to the Night on the Town doll and they were the ones that I had as a kid. He should be in a suit though. Um, I know there is a lot of Suttons that do look like this, so I'm thinking he's that one. Anyway, he looks identical, so this is a Ken top. I did also buy a Ken doll from 2009, but I have put him in my niece's and nephew's like toy corner in our living room because I don't want him. <laughs> Sorry, Ken, but you know. So yeah, I got him for a pound and then I bought the Ken so I could give him a top. And uh, yeah, so I'm just so happy to have him. And although I don't collect my scene, I hold a lot of memories with him. He's been cleaned up because he was grubby.com like. Ugh. So yeah. That's Sutton. Okay, so now I have a styling head and this is the funky fashion makeover Chloe, who is also known as the Bratz or Glammed Up funky fashion makeover Chloe. Because basically there is a variation in the packaging. So you can buy them with the All Glammed Up packaging. and then you can buy them with just the artwork on and it doesn't say all glammed up anywhere. So I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, I got her brand new in box. That is how I know that about her. I did film an unboxing and review and then the iPad played up and I lost it. So I was happy with the video and I was excited to upload it, but it wasn't meant to be. So she's going to be a part of this haul. She was under 10 pounds. Like I say, brand new. She came with some hair accessories, which I will include a photo of because I don't have them in the room right now. She is beautiful. I love her. And I know a lot of people don't like this era because of their mouth, but I don't mind it. I think it's cute and she is gorgeous. I mean, look at the detail in the eyeshadow. I mean, wow, girl, you make me look amateur. So this is Chloe. And then because I loved Chloe so much, oh, and she came with pink dangly earrings, which has come out. Because I loved Chloe so much, I went onto eBay and I bought the Yasmin. I do believe that this Yasmin is from the All Glammed Up packaging because as you can see, she has the hair glitter like gel thing in her hair from the person who had her before me. And uh, that one, the Chloe did not come with that. So I imagine she was from the actual All Glammed Up line and her hair is atrocious. I mean, she is secondhand. So she has been played with. You can see that, I mean, look, She's got bits and bobs going on. It's a mess. She's going to need some work. She does have a few like scuffs on her lip and a bit of pen and everything, but I'm gonna fix her up and I love her. Now I need Sasha and Jade. She only came with one earring, which was quite sad. And she is missing the back of her star stand. Anyway, 
That is the styling heads I bought. I picked up some fashion packs for my babies and my big babies from Amazon and eBay. So I will start with the ones I got from Amazon for the regular size babies. I got this one, which is my favourite. It is the Fabulous Fashion Pack. Then I got the Rock Out Fashion Pack. I got the Step Out Fashion Pack. And they cost me around like £22, which I know is a lot of money, but they do come in handy. And then for the big babies from eBay, and I paid £13 each for these. I got the Birthday Bash and the Wild Wild West fashion packs from the same seller, but I had to buy them separately. And um, I bid on those and I won. And uh, yeah, so I love switching up my baby's outfits and I find that really fun. So I am so happy to have these. Also from eBay, I I picked up this bundle of Bratz Big Babies fashion packs. As you can see, I am addicted to buying clothes for my Bratz Big Babies. The first thing I got is these pants from the Nighty Night fashion pack. And to go with those, I also got the dressing gown and I also got the sleeping mask. I got the fabulous fashion pack as you can see so i got the top and the skirt then i got the top from the wild wild west fashion pack i got a diaper a nappy whatever you call it i got this from the step out one the skirt i got the sunglasses from the pretty and punk fashion pack i got some shoes which i believe go to the bratz babies the movie crazy karaoke chloe doll so that is everything i got for seven pounds in that bundle i have also added live in concert sasha to my collection and I am so happy to get her for only £24. I absolutely love her. I will show you her better in my next haul all made over. But um, yeah, I thought I would add her in. And then lastly, I picked up some acrylic paint and some really cheap paintbrushes from Hobbycraft. So I can touch up some like lip chips on my Bratz Big Babies. I want a bit of help. If anyone knows what I should buy to put over the top of the acrylic paint to keep it in place once I have painted it on, then let me know like a top coat. I don't know what to buy and what's best. Like, I don't do face repaints and I just want to know how to keep it in place for touch-ups because I want to buy like a black and a brown to do like hair touch-ups as well and uh, yeah so this is kind of out of my area of expertise so if anyone knows leave me some information down below on how I can do it in the best way and keep it put and uh, yeah so I think I have covered everything and there you go so that was my brat doll haul I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big thumbs up leave me a lovely comment down below don't forget to click the notification bell and of course subscribe if you want to i would love to have you here thank you for watching thank you for your support i love you and until my next video i will see you all then bye bye